All right, um, all right, let me just get this right. <laughs> Cause I got like, um, I have my charger like rigged so that it doesn't, it's not like in the camera and stuff. All right, hold up. Okay, wait. <laughs> all right, cool. Okay, so this is for Scorpion. All right, so I feel a lot more lax during your reading. All right, um, so we're gonna see what comes out for you, Scorpio. Uh, sun, moon, rising, north node. And I'm hearing sun, moon, rising, north node and stellium. All right, so I'm getting stellium in Scorpio. Is that how you pronounce that? Stellium or stellium or something like that in Scorpio. All right, so this could be something that maybe you need to study perhaps. If you don't know your stellium, I feel like your stellium's in Scorpio too or something or some shit. All right, let's see. So we're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull um, a card from this pile to get the theme out right, of your reading for the next 48 and beyond. So it could be like a week or, you know, or two, <laughs> depending. Ooh, the devil. All right, nice, Scorpio. All right, so this fits your energy very well, the devil card, so gnosis. All right, so some type of deep-rooted knowledge or information that you're getting. I, I always say the devil card is information that is unfathomable. It's something that you can't find on Google. It's something that's usually passed down through word of mouth or in, um, intuitively through the DNA. It just comes to you. It's, but it's something you would have never thought of on your own. It's something that people would never think of in a million years, okay? And usually it's something very simple also, okay? So this is what, this is like, this is your theme. So the devil, all right? So first, I'm also getting to something, something is so raw or something is so intriguing that it's scary, all right, because I always get like this sense of intrigue, but also always get this sense of like, um, like fright with the devil card also. Okay, yeah, so some, I'm getting too a lot of money attached to this. A lot of money that you need to hide, Scorpio. So I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm hearing inheritance. There's money put away for you or you need to put that money away. I'm getting a large a payout, possibly in advance. You need to put that money away. Yeah, the lover's. So this could be something too about a gold digger, Scorpion. All right, could be a Capricorn, definitely. Yeah, so I feel like there's a need for you to hide how much money you have or how much money you make. Or you only, I'm getting, I'm getting only claim half. This could be about your taxes. Like, see, only claim half. <laughs> All right, um, you didn't hear that here, but I'm, I'm getting that from this. So there's something about have. You don't know the have or have or something like that. All right, so the devil card. All right, let's get a let's get one of these. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn in particular, or you could be dealing with like, of course, Gnosis, all right, infathomable in information. All right, I feel like it could be a combination of both, a little bit of both. All right, so let's get an answer. All right, this is for Scorpio. I was about to call you a Capricorn. I'll probably call you a Capricorn more than once before this is over. All right, my apologies in advance. All right, not quite. Okay, interesting. Of course, all right. So I'm not gonna clarify the not quite only because it's you, Scorpio. I'll leave that up to you to figure out. I know you kind of like shit like that. So I can, I'm getting like the theme of your reading is figure it out on your own. You gotta figure some shit out on your own. All right, so I feel like something is, is more than meets the eye. It seems real simple on the surface, but it's not, okay? If there's like a deeper meaning or something is, is real, something is like deeper, it's, something's being hidden really well. All right, so I'm getting, I'm getting Scorpio. Truth is stranger than fiction. Think of your wildest dreams, the most, the wildest shit you could ever think of. That's what's happening with the devil. Like some real, like some crazy shit. Something like, you're like, man, nah, that would never happen to me or that would never happen in real life. But I feel, yeah. Okay, so you, I'm getting like you, I'm getting you underestimating this Capricorn, either their abilities or their tendencies. You underestimate what this person will do or what um, their capabilities. I feel like you, you, you kind of overlook or you fail to realize something. Okay, TikTok card, the weekend. Okay, so you're going to have a revelation. I'm getting the devil card starts this weekend. All right, so, hmm, you have three years. We're going to ignore that one because it's, it's too far out for me. I don't like that. All right. But that's going to, three years could be significant. Of course it is. It came up in the reading. All right. So something could, something could have been going on for the last three years. Maybe we should keep this, Scorpion. All right. Don't keep the three-year thing. So you're going to find out something this weekend. Truth is stranger than fiction. I'm getting something has been going on for the past three years of your life. Like unbeknownst to you. I feel like something has been so well hidden 
even from you, Scorpio, even from you, it's been, it's been so well hidden that you would not even believe it. Even you would not believe it, Scorpio. I feel like it's that, it's that unbelievable or it's that incredible. You're like, nah, nah. Uh -uh. Okay, let's see. Damn, I wonder, I'm trying to like, well, I wonder what it is. Like, Scorpio, all right. Okay, let's see. More messages, next 48 and beyond for Scorpio. Okay, so this could, I'm getting a cancer, all right? So we're going to see what this is. All right, so you have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, a lot of time has gone by or somebody's putting a lot of time into something. They're, somebody is really invested into something here. So this could be information or actual money. But like I said, I'm getting this is more so about time, several months, several years being put in. The five of, wow. So this, this is, I'm, I'm getting that Taurus reading expensive beef. So I'm getting a Taurus or somebody has been waiting for this moment, North Node and Taurus. Damn, somebody has a lot of time on their hands. I'm, I'm also getting to something about like extra work, a lot of extra work. Okay, so let's see the, the hermit, the, this weird hermit card and we have the king of wands. Where's the five of wands? Okay, but you're free. It's almost like Scorpio, you are realizing something after it's over. So I feel like by the time you realize something or you're realizing something right now, it's already done, it's over, or it's the end of it's the end of a situation or the end of a cycle. But you're not going to believe your ears or your eyes when you see or hear something of like, man, that's crazy as hell. You're going to realize how protected you were or how protected you are. When you figure out like somebody's motives or all of this, like you might even, I'm getting like you're going to see evidence, like a lot of evidence of somebody trying to play you or um, somebody stealing from you or I don't know, keeping tabs on you. But there's like piles and piles of evidence and content and messages and letters and whatever pictures. Like somebody has like a whole library, a whole library of like your pictures, your content, messages, voicemails, like a whole bunch of shit. Like they've been saving it. So it's almost like somebody somebody knows your destiny or somebody knows your path. And they've been like, someone's keeping tabs. Now, of course, I'm going to try to bring this into the everyday. It's kind of hard for me these days to keep it simple. Okay. But okay, something here about the past. So I, I feel I'm getting, I'm hearing seven years. So you're, you're going back seven months from now and hearing the word seven years old. This could be that one song, um... Oh my God, once I was seven years old, uh, my father told me something like that, go get, some, go get some money or you'll be lonely or something like that, or go and, get, go and get a girl or you'll be lonely or some shit. So I'm getting like there's some type of synchronicity with that song. Okay, we have the title card. Yeah, there's some, the title card, two of wands. Okay, so I'm, get, I'm also getting to, there's something here about a dispute. This could be a dispute about some type of paperwork or ID, birth certificate, social security card. Okay, so I feel like it's, I'm getting like there's somebody who wants to talk to you about something. I don't think it's the best time for you to have a conversation with this person, though. I feel like it's going to turn into an argument, a dispute, a, you know, a feud. I'm getting just hold off until Tuesday of next week. Um, even if you don't tell them, I'm, I'm kind of getting to, if you're filing a dispute, I'm getting it comes in Tuesday of next week. All right. But I kind of feel like to, in order to avoid something or in order to handle something with care, you need to like kind of wait. All right. Cause what is this right here, please? Yeah. I'm getting like Tuesday next week is the perfect time. You should have this meeting or you should do something. All right. Something is going to come in. Yes, I'm getting you're waiting on money. You're waiting on funding. It's going to come in next week on Tuesday. And that's when you need to have this meeting, this talk, or that's when you need to sign this paperwork. So I'm getting like you need to wait until you have security or and wait until you're sure. Wait until something hits the bank, like certainly. Okay, what's this right here? I'm getting like the weekend, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, we have the three of cups. Yeah, you're going to be happy. Something comes through. All right. Um, what, is the, what is the hermit card? I'm getting to like, yeah, somebody leaves you alone. Like I said, like by the time you find something out, something's going to be over. But I feel like there's several other things happening too during the day. But the devil card is like hanging over your head all day long. Okay, what is the hermit? All right. The eight of wands. Okay, and then you have the ten of wands. Okay, so a lot of calls, messages, emails, or writing, or this could be speaking, but like you're exerting a lot of energy here. Okay, so I feel like somebody is like making you jump through hoops or giving you the runaround or something is like mission impossible. Eight of wands, ten of wands. 
So it's almost like it's almost like the more you do, the less you get. The the emperor, and then you have the ace of wands. Yes. So this is okay. So this is something separate. It looks like during the day, at some point, you're, you're trying to upload something, download something, do, get something done. It, it seems very strenuous, tiring, exhausting. Okay, mentally taxing, but you're doing it, and then it's like you know something just like gets really challenging, really hard, and you just give up and start over again. You have to keep starting over or something like that. Or this is how it feels with your life. You have to keep going through the same cycle over and over again. Okay. Or something. I feel like something is stressful or taxing for no apparent reason. The ace. Of, okay. So this is the thing. You're going to have to face a very harsh reality here, Scorpio about an Aries, you're going to have to like face the truth, face the music about something. All right. So you're getting the truth. You're getting clarity, but I'm getting, it's not, it's not going to be an easy feat. So I'm getting, if you're trying to get the truth out of a person, it's like pulling teeth to get this person to tell the truth or to get them to speak up or to get them to open up to you or just to have a conversation. It's impossible. But I feel like some, the reason somebody's like hiding something or like somebody is, um, they have a hard time admitting when they need help or they have a just a, I don't know. Or this could be your energy, but I don't it's too much. I feel like it's a little too much fire to be you. Um so I feel like you are ghosting something or you're giving up because it just it seems like it just cannot be done. It's impossible. Or this is what you decide to do and then you kind of come back and start over. So I feel like all right. What is the ace of swords? So something gets trashed and you have to start it over again. So I'm getting, I see you adding people to a group or to a group message again, starting it over. All right. Or something like that. Or starting a new group or some, some shit. Okay. Eight of swords, nine of wands. The devil. Okay. It's showing up again. <laughs> All right. So there's a Capricorn here lurking or um, you're going to find out the ugly truth about a Capricorn. It's something is like, this is like really dirty. I'm not, I don't think, you know, I feel like it's, I feel like it would irritate you. It would, it would upset you if you knew, but I feel like you're going to get irritated, Scorpio, and just, I don't think it, you're really going to lose your cool that much, okay? Because you're not, you're not, um, you're very composed when it comes to your emotional body. That like You don't have a lot of, wa wa lot of water here, so you're not an emotional sign anyway, but I feel like um, you are air of water, so you are more of an intellect. You are the air of the water sign, so you're not emotional. You're more detached like an Aquarius. You like, you're like the Aquarius of the water signs to me. Yeah, air of water, so I feel like it's going to irritate you. It's, it's, you feel insulted or you feel offended, but I, don't, I think you're being a lot, you know, I feel like you're being logical about the situation at the same time. Yes, it's irritating or you know, it's stressful or you don't understand why it's happening or it's fucking stupid, but you're like, you know what, whatever. What's the, queen, what's the king of wands? I feel, like, I feel like your guides want to tell you something. It's like, dude, you, we're trying to tell you the devil card or we want you to realize something. What's the king of wands? What's the king of wands, please? Okay. All right. So you're a little bit pissed by the end. Okay. And we have the king, queen of cups and the sea. Yeah. So this is your energy, though. So you, even I feel, like, I feel like even for you, Scorpio, the situation is confusing. You're like, what? <laughs> I'm also getting to, I feel like there's a Sagittarius here that you're spending time with. Um, it looks like things are going well. And then you kind of just, I don't know, leave or you just feel like that. You just feel the sudden urge to like break something off out of nowhere. And then you reconcile with this person and then you guys start arguing again. And then you're like, you know what? I'm going to do the right thing. And then I don't know. This, this seems really like this. This is like really stressful for you. You're stressed out. I feel like somebody has a lot of baggage or right, somebody's always in trouble. They always, they're always like in need of help or somebody is like just, I don't know, maybe you can't get a word in edgewise, like somebody super duper extra dramatic or I don't know. I just feel like somebody like gives you a run for your money, maybe literally. This could be to somebody who's sexually frustrated, like somebody always talks about sex. It's constantly like, man, what's, do you have anything else on your mind, girl? Like... What's the nine of wands and the ten of wands? Yes, yeah, so I feel like somebody's a little bit of this is like obsession. Okay, the devil. Yeah, someone. I feel like somebody's obsession is deeper than you know. It's it's uh um. I feel like somebody has a sexual addiction. They are they are addicted to sex. 
All right, maybe you don't realize this or... Um, Or maybe they don't realize it's Scorpio. I, I feel like someone does not realize how obsessed they truly are. You're like, man, look, you. there's something wrong with your brain. Like, what's the nine of wands and the ten of wands? <laughs> All right, what's the nine of wands and the ten of wands? So Scorp, <laughs> it's a Sagittarius. Like, man, what's, what's wrong with you? Like, something is really wrong with this person, uh, Scorp. All right, what's the nine of wands and the ten of wands? Yeah, the four of pentacles, but you're not going to tell them. I, I'm getting like Scorpio. You just, you just give them the side eye. You're like, man, like something is really wrong with you, dog. But like, I'm cool on even telling you that. Like, I don't even care that much. But something is really wrong with this person or something's really wrong with these people. Yeah, the, the queen of wands. I feel like you, you don't understand like somebody's infatuation with somebody else. You're like, man, why are you so obsessed with this person? Or why are you so infatuated or obsessed with me? Or something like that. Or why are you so obsessed with sex or something? Or something. All right, one more card for you. We're going to get some more energies from a different... Um, I want to pull from a different deck, Scorp. Okay. Um, I just feel like... I feel like somebody is like real life... Like, I'm, I'm getting like... We say the word obsessed a lot, but I feel like somebody is real life is fatal. Okay. Like, it's a real life obsession. Like, somebody is... I feel like it's deeper than you know. It's, it's deeper than your understanding will, will allow you to, um, like, fathom. I feel like it's, it goes beyond your knowledge, Scorpio. It's... You don't, you don't get it. All right. Okay, let's see. Or you don't see how this person does not see it. You're like, man, how are you, how are you not seeing your own behavior in the situation here? How are you not seeing it? All right. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like somebody's just delusional. It could be another Scorpio. All right. Um, you know, I feel like somebody just, they kind of get, I don't know. Let, okay, let's see. Yeah, we have the magician. We have the strength card. You have the king, the queen of wands coming out again. The fool. Yeah, and we have the moon. The justice. So I feel like I feel like something is backfiring here. It's almost like somebody could be doing. Somebody could be trying to manipulate manipulate a situation that you're in, and it's kind of like happening to them. So I feel like you're seeing somebody change or you're seeing something manifest. And it's, I don't know if you're confused or fast or fascinated. Okay. We have the five of wands, the nine of swords. Ace of, okay. So you seem to be more fascinated than confused. I feel like it fascinates you like somebody's obsession or something, something could be very dark, but, or like, you know, um, I don't know. I feel like something kind of, kind of like weird and bizarre. You find it to be fascinating. Like you're like, man, you are like something is this. This person is weird as fuck. Yeah, we have the justice. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's almost like you can't stand something, but you also can't stop watching. It's like you. So I'm getting Scorpio. You have the word obsession. So I feel like somebody's like really bad at something or something really irritates your skin, but you 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 keep watching it though. So it's like you're, it's it's self torture. <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't know why you're doing that. Okay, but I feel like you're kind of like waiting for someone to get karma. You're waiting. It's like you want to see karma firsthand. You want to witness karma. So you're just like, it's not like you're looking for it or you're wishing for it. It's like you're just, you're just watching and waiting to see what happens. Because I feel like something is so unbelievable. You're like, man, what, how is this possible? Or how, what the fuck is going on here? Like for real. So you're just kind of like, watching in awe like what's gonna happen next like i wonder what's gonna happen tomorrow and the next day and blah 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 okay let's see listen yes you're just watching and waiting and listening yeah uh north node and taurus so you're benefiting from that scorpion so you're really you're really harnessing your taurus energy you're not saying anything you're not going to retaliate you're not going to act but something about the situation is like weird as hell and fascinating and like you just it's like watching a movie or something like that so you're able to, like I said, you're able to see something firsthand, firsthand karma. You're like, wow, that's crazy. All right. Yeah. Okay. So the card, yeah, you're, you have a lot to say. Yeah. But don't say anything. Stay in the shadows. Yeah. Just listen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. It says, fuck it. Yeah. So I, yeah. So if something is bothering you, irritating you, Scorpio, just fuck it. Just listen to it. I'm not really sure why the cards are saying listen to something that bothers you. It's almost like maybe it's, um, 
Maybe it's teaching you how to be a better listener. Just like fuck what they're really, just fuck what they're saying or fuck how it makes you feel and just listen. Yeah. So I'm getting your guides. Your guides want you to read between the lines. Your guides want you to figure something out, something about the devil. There's information in what you're watching or there's something there's something really like ominous going on here. You have to separate yourself from how you feel so that you can kind of catch the code or the cipher or the, it's like a hidden message or something like that. All right. Okay. But I feel like something is a solution. You, you're going to have to admit to yourself that something works, man. It's effective. Like I feel, I'm hearing like somebody is the truth or you are the truth or something like, yeah, I'm hearing nothing but the truth. All right. Like where's the lie or something like that? Okay. Yeah. But just listening, the cards are saying, fuck it. So that, that's your theme. All right. So fuck them. Fuck it. No fucks given. Just fuck it. All right. For the next 48 hours and beyond. Don't let it get to you. Fuck it, Scorpio. If you did, if you said something goofy, did something goofy, embarrass yourself, whatever, fuck it or whatever. All right. Just listen, though. Like, don't ask any questions. Don't say anything. Just close your mouth and listen, Scorpio. That is, I feel like this is key right here. Okay. Also, too, follow your guides. Listen to divine guidance. If you get a nudge or an urge, do it. Okay. I feel like, listen, even, even if it makes you really angry, Scorpio, just, I don't know why I'm getting that. It's almost like it's important that you... It's almost like it's important that you expose yourself to something that triggers you. Like keep, like keep exposing yourself to the trigger. This reading sounds real familiar. I did another reading for you a couple months ago. Yeah, so seven months ago, I did a reading for you, I think, called uh, Embrace the Triggers. Yeah, so like if you, broke, if, if you just broke up with somebody, Scorpio, go to like a fucking romantic restaurant, sit next to a fucking couple that's kissing while you're fucking sitting there alone, drinking by yourself, smoking by yourself. If your fucking dog just died, go to a dog park and walk around and see the other dog owners petting their dogs and shit and having a good time while you're sad as fuck. Expose yourself to triggers. There's something about this that's important. Yeah, something about North Node and Taurus. Yeah, so I feel like somebody's trying to trigger you. Expose yourself to that shit. Watch it if it makes you mad or if it irritates you or listen to it if it irritates you. All right, yeah. So that reading, I think it, I think it was called, yeah, Embrace the Triggers or, or something like that. Because some, somehow, some way, this is, it's like a solution or this is going to turn out in your favor somehow. okay. Yeah, so I feel like your I feel like your guys they want to kind of make you cold. Yeah, because Taurus is fixed. Taurus is like you know, because um, I feel like Scorpio, you are the type of person to give a second chance, maybe even a third, depending. The guys are like, no, we want you to be like, fuck it. Whenever somebody, if something triggers you, fuck it. If somebody hurts you, fuck it. You have to be able to say fuck it in any situation. You have to be like, yeah, justice is blind. You cannot be attached to anything. You can have North Node and Aquarius. So your guys are teaching you how to be like somewhat of a prick. Yeah, so like you're going to be hard as fucking still by the end of this year. Nothing will be able to penetrate you at all. Nothing will be able to hurt you at all. You're going to be a fucking uh, machine. Yeah, okay, let's see. Because people don't know this about you, Scorpio, but you're really sensitive. Like, people think that you're, I don't know why people think that you're crazy and delusional, but you're not. You're actually very composed and smart and very sensitive, almost like too much, affectionate too. But I feel like people underestimate, like, your sensitive side because you're kind of a, you're kind of a punk to me. But people seem to think that you're just like this, wicked person or something and you're not it's actually taurus that's wicked as fuck but we're not gonna go there this is a scorpio reading all right let's see taurus is the fucking wicked one all right people get people get that shit twisted a lot all right okay let's see yeah you have neptune yeah that dreamy energy do you have neptune in scorpio oh that's a good placement damn all right i was gonna say something real uh <laughs> inappropriate, but I'm not. All right. So I'm getting something about water. Okay. Neptune. So Jupiter and Pisces, Jupiter and water. All right. Oh, that's interesting. So there, your net, something about your Neptune placement, something about water. All right. 
Oh, you got Neptune and Saturn. So something far out. Yeah, I'm getting North Node and Aquarius or Saturn and Aquarius. Yeah, we're, we're pulling, you're pulling the far out planets. So you are in the afterlife. So if, if life feels really strange and funny, if it feels like you're on the opposite side of the veil, okay, you are, you're in the afterlife. You are not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> All right. Like you pulling Neptune, it's like some, you're really in, in the shit, Scorpio, if you didn't know. I think, I feel like some of you don't know that you're in the occult. You are. That I, I just want to like remind you that this is, a, this is an occult art. This is an occult. You're watching, this is like you're a part of the occult if you believe in this shit, okay? So maybe you didn't know that or something. Like, I don't know what the Seven of Cups is about. Okay, let's see. But you're gonna, I'm getting like strange happenings, okay? Some strange things going on, all right? You're not in Kansas anymore, all right? For real, okay? Yeah, we have, ooh, nice, nice squirt. All right, wishbone, so make a wish, af uh, affirmations. So I'm, I'm hearing, okay, so subliminal messages. Oh, nice, Scorpio. Yeah, so we, we talked about that at the beginning of your reading, the stellium, stellium, study your stellium. So astrology, destiny. Yeah, so I feel like you're destined to be in the occult or you're destined to be a great occultist. That's why you have to say, fuck it. So the universe is treating you like a Libra. So where's your Libra placement? That could be lit up. It could be, maybe you have Jupiter in Libra. It could be in Pisces. But the universe wants you to be of a Libra, I'm hearing. Like, fuck that shit. Fuck that. Or, or, or like an Aquarius. Like, fuck it. Okay, yeah, because you're, you're a water sign. So, you know. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to pull, hmm. No, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to overwhelm you because you're, you're already a little bit overwhelmed by something. I don't want to add to that, but listen and fuck it. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. All right, and I'll see you next time. Bye.